All right. <laughs> I'm very, very happy to be up in Edinburgh this year. This is my, yeah, my debut year. I came up here in 2019, and I'm, I'm from North London. You come to Edinburgh, there's so many, so many nice things you see that you can't see in London. Even like this year, first thing I saw um, was this woman running. <laughs> like for fun. <laughs> There was no one chasing her or anything. She was, <laughs> she was just running. She was one of, she was one of those um, competitive runners. I, I could tell because when I started running after her, she, um, <laughs> I've loved doing the show and I've got to speak to a lot of people after it as well. And people ask me questions about the show and one of the big things they ask is what, what do my tattoos mean? And um, they're, they're for my five older sisters. I grew up with five older sisters. And just to put that in context, Radio, I'm six foot two, and I'm not the biggest in my family. That is, <laughs> that was trauma. <laughs> like, it's different, because with brothers, it's very different to be physical. With sisters, it's psychological. They, you know, they, they were horrible. They, they used to suck me in with something nice. They go, do you want to know a secret? I go, yeah, like, who doesn't? Like, if you start a conversation with me now like that, I'm listening. And they said, do you want to know a secret? I said, yeah. They said, we found you on the doorstep when you were a baby. <laughs> and then mum decided to keep you. <laughs> like, I was six. That's, that, and that's the thing, I, I knew, like, I knew it wasn't true. I knew in my heart that they were lying. But there were so many of them. <laughs> saying the same thing <laughs> that it starts starts to sound true and I, they'd have proof as well which now makes no sense but as a six-year-old made all the sense because they'd, they'd say we found you on the doorstep when you were a baby and mum decided to keep you and i was like no you didn't you're lying and they said well then how comes you're the only boy <laughs> That was my entire childhood, literally. My sister just making stuff up and then using that overwhelming numbers to make it sound like it was true. I, I was 17 when I gave up waiting for my period. <laughs> it has been truly wonderful to be up here this year and be nominated as well. So uh, thank you guys for coming to watch. My name is Emmanuel Sanubi. Good night. Yeah.